Hello everybody, it's OG here. Today I am two things. Number one, very stupid. Number two, very angry. So what I did was to record a mission to Elu, which is what we are doing today. But I recorded it in potato quality. I shot it in 240 instead of 1080. So I'm having to redo it. The rocket I'm using today is my MPR-2, the multi-purpose rocket version 2. A few upgrades to the version 1. I've gotten rid of the horribly, horribly underpowered engines. Efficiency is nothing if there's no power with it. Hopefully today I can correct the fault I made yesterday where I started my gravity turn too early and almost re-entered the atmosphere um, disastrously. I did re-enter the atmosphere but I've managed to save it. Okay, the idea with this mission is to get to Elu. I tried to get to Elu in the past and it was with my very heavy lift rocket mission but I failed the glitches got me out caught me out so I'm trying again problem is as I found out yesterday most of those glitches are still present and it's actually exceedingly difficult to A. get to Elu and B. Oops, let me just stage here. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. And B. land on Elu. And if this mission is anything like the one I tried yesterday, you'll see why. Okay, so there are various issues with getting to Elu. The first one, obviously, is that it's so far away. So things like fuel are a consideration. Fuel is a consideration. I'm getting lost in the grammar. Fuel are a consideration. Good grief. Things like fuel are a... No, that's right. Things like fuel are a consideration. I'm referencing things with R. Concord is good. Okay. English lesson done. I really need to focus. Things like fuel are a consideration. The orbital inclination of Elu is a consideration. But those are just the normal things. The abnormal things are what catch you out. The first one of those, which is a big factor, is the camera. Just like I had on the Tylo mission, the camera was a huge problem on Elu. It tends to want to do its own thing. It stops tracking your rocket. You have to switch manual to manual camera modes and try to steer your camera around to keep the rocket in the frame. That is highly impractical when you are landing on a planet. Uh, the surface of Elu, there's something wrong with it. Like Tylo again. I ended up in the Elu underworld when I finally did manage to land on the surface. Landing on the surface was extremely tricky for another reason. I didn't notice, but my... Uh, what do I call that? This thing, the thing that says orbit at the moment. It didn't, it didn't change to ground mode. It didn't uh, switch to the planet when I left orbit. So that made the landing very tricky because I was trying to burn retrograde with respect to my velocity, with respect to the planet, and that just didn't go well. There were many crashes. 
On the plus side, and I hope to show you this, Elu looks beautiful. Compared to KSP1, it is so craggy. There are these beautiful deep rift valleys. And it's it's really textured nicely, looking good. I'm hoping maybe I don't end up in the underworld of Elu today and I'm able to walk around on the surface. Or at least Bob is able to walk around on the surface. We'll see how that goes. I'm not getting my hopes up. But if nothing else, we'll get to fly around close to the surface and take a good look at the planet. So I'm not going to bore you with all the details of getting to Elu. I'm going to mute the rest, speed it up. I'll do my burns as I need to. I'll do my mid-course corrections. And then I'll bring you back into another section which is very glitchy. And that is time warping close to Elu. The time warp just doesn't stop. And you end up missing the intercept over and over again. And I think it was at least five attempts yesterday before I got that right. And I had to manually time warp. What the hell? You kidding me? Good grief. Okay. Who knows what happened there? I will have to reload. Luckily I have a recent save. Okay. I have reloaded. I did find that with the camera problem, it seems linked to staging, especially when I get rid of this nose cone. So I'm going to try to get rid of the nose cone one more time. If it doesn't work, if I end up with the same problem, I might have to try to do this mission leaving that nose cone on the entire time, which is what I did yesterday eventually wish me luck wow wow wow, wow. did you see that it just threw the lander off into space. Alright, looks like we're going to be doing this with the nose cone attached. Let's see if that works any better. That looks better for now. Touch wood, hold thumbs, all the other superstitious things that keep rockets together. I don't know if it's a staging issue or if it's a nose cone issue, but that shaking itself apart problem and camera problem does seem linked to the nose cone specifically but also staging watch my Tyler video you'll see also I had to abort the start of yesterday's video when this lander shook itself off on the pad I don't know maybe it's a lander thing Devs, 
you guys have still got a lot of work to do. Less science, more bug fixes. I don't want a science update when we still have so many bugs. I, I want the bugs gone. Personal opinion. That's not a bad intercept for this stage of the game, anyway. Unfortunately, <laughs> I have an intercept with Jewel. I don't want that. <laughs> oh, Jewel, why do you have to be in the way? to watch not the burn timer but this little indicator bar that's the thing showing the delta v change the timer is highly susceptible to corruption and also if i throttle back like this it completely throws the timer out but the delta v bar is accurate okay that's good enough. Alrighty, let's go. Avoiding Jewel is going to become a big issue. So I think what I'll try to do is lower my orbital plane now to intercept Elu at the second intercept point. And hopefully by doing that, avoid Jewel. But it's not really working. <laughs> How am I going to avoid you? That's it. I have an Elu intercept. Okay, that's good enough. I will burn again after I've passed Jewel. Am I going to? I, see, I don't know how to interpret this thing now. I'm going to burn there, so then I'm not going to do the Jewel intercept. I think. We will see. Another silent burn. Hooray. The sound glitches are the least of my troubles at the moment. If we have silent rockets, so be it. How does this look? Well, I don't have the intercept, but I don't have the jewel intercept either. So that's good. There is no specific reason why I'm burning at the apoapsis point. I just, I guess I'm just used to it, that kind of thing.
I think I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to align the orbital plane, which I can do because I have the ascending node now before my intercept. So that is what I will do. What I'm doing there is just transferring fuel from the active stage to the inactive stages so that I don't waste uh, fuel from the latter stages which I'll need later. That fuel has been used on RCS thrusters. Hey, I have my rocket sound back. What I don't seem to have is the rest of my burn indicator, so... Now I don't really know how good that burn was. You know what? That's fine. Add burn indica indicator to the list of broken things. Okay, SB2, you make life so hard. What should be a simple mission is the end of the world. And we haven't even gotten to the really tricky bits yet. All right, so with this incredibly wasteful maneuver, I'm going to align my orbital plane with that of Elu. That should make it easier for me to get a good intercept. And a nice equatorial one at that. Don't quote me on that later. Seven and a half degrees to burn out. And the rocket is back to silent mode. I'm not sure how we're going to do for fuel. This is quite a wasteful maneuver. Hopefully I don't run out later. My orbit is quite different to that of Elu. Which means my final burn at Elu Periapsis will be a fairly big one. Now I need to create an intercept. I, I can't understand what's happening here. <laughs> Why are the A and the B and the 1 and the 2 split apart? What is going on there? I have an intercept. I try and move the A and B together. And it just does weird things. I'm going to do it this way. Oh, this is making life hard. Nope, other way. That's good. That's an impact. And that is a nice close periapsis, almost on the ecliptic. It will depend on how accurately I burn though. Heh, <laughs> good luck with that with a broken burn indicator. Okay. Here we go. Once again, no burn indication line. 
So I'm going solely on time, which means I can't throttle down. Or I won't know how much to burn. Wonderful. And since I can't throttle down, I can't do an accurate burn. Let's open pray that was a good one. That looks pretty good. I still have an intercept. And it looks like a close one. So I'm as happy as what I can be. Okay, now we sit with the time warp issue. So if I keep the time warp running too close to these intercept points, when I go into the SOI of Elu, I will shoot right through at rapid time warp and will miss the intercept. Let me show you. <laughs> uh, now it's not doing the time war problem. That is just so typical. Maybe I'll insert some footage of yesterday's ones. Please excuse the potato quality if I decide to go that route. No, <laughs> I was just about to say the previous time I tried to go to Elu, this, this is where everything fell apart. I couldn't get into the SOI because of the time warp. The time warp was not playing along, but I have encountered a lot of other time warp issues since then. And I think I know how to do this. Ah, okay, okay, I, this is not over yet, have no fear. I don't know if I'm talking to my audience or myself. Have no fear, have no fear, I have no fear. Do you have fear? Slow down, slow down, slow down, oh come on. A uh, little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. This is exactly what stopped me getting to Elu before. I thought I'll be able to get there now. Okay. I don't know why it is that time warp is so particularly bad out here. I mean, it's bad everywhere else but out here by elu it seems to be worse so what happens if i just do a little one it also doesn't stop okay so we are manually time warping It is now time to expend a lot of Delta V. Unfortunately, I do not have the nice ecliptic orbit that I wanted. Equatorial orbit. Too bad. Noiseless rocket. What? What is going on here? Why does Elu look so weird? This is new. 
I haven't seen this before. <laughs> oh man. I hope this doesn't fund fundamentally affect the gameplay. I I don't know what's happened to Elu. She's not looking very healthy. It looks all right in this view, but this view, not so much. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Okay, SB2. With you, I am never bored. You are extremely frustrating, but never boring. And the rocket sound is back. At least it's consistently inconsistent. One nice thing about Elu is that your orbital velocity is rather low. And for those of you seeing it for the first time, this is Elu. And she really does look good. Beautifully craggy. Who says wrinkles can't be pretty? Not a bad view, is it? Let me give you a little tour. Pretty cool, right? Now I must choose a place to land. And as usual, I want to land in the light. Something which is often tricky to achieve. Why are my controls so horribly unresponsive? Oh boy. Well, this is new. Drag, drag, drag. What fun. Oh, they. Okay. They're getting better. I could change my orbit. If I did that, I sh should make things better. I do not want to leave the Elu sphere of influence. <laughs> that would be bad. We just have to correct that little problem quickly. Aiming for no point in particular, I'm going to try a landing. Hell, this is as good as any.
Now, what happened to me yesterday was trying to land with the lander was, for reasons unknown, exceedingly difficult. So I kept the lower stage on and then just switched to the lander at the last minute. I will probably try that again. Yes, I am. I'm definitely keeping the nose cone on. It just seems to hold everything together. The nose cone scares the kraken away. Kraken repellent. That's what's in the nose cone. I'm still in orbit. There's the problem again. Surface. I need to be relative to the surface. Almost caught me out again. Okay, SP. You are my nemesis. save okay I'm going to try a separation lander deployed legs extended Firing the lander rocket. Oh, that's awesome. Right. Remember to watch the shadow. The shadow helps. Everything looking good. Steady rate of descent. Plenty fuel. Anti Kraken nose cone firmly attached. Okay, Bob. You've got this, buddy. Speed is good. Terrain is level. No lateral velocity. The Bob has landed. On Elu. Again. So for the record, I've landed on Elu. Twice. And crashed several times, but not today. So that's a plus, right? One more save, and then I'm going to try to do an EVA. Yesterday, this sent me straight to the underworld. What will today bring? Bob? Well, for a second there, I was in the underworld. But now I'm not. I'm actually holding on to my spacecraft. <gasps> I'm on the surface. I'm on the surface of Elu. And listen to the footsteps. Like a muffled... Walking through snow echo. Oh, camera's going 
Berserk. Okay, let's not push the camera too far. I'm walking on Elu. I'm walking on Elu. I have accomplished this mission. Let's go visit a rock. This is so cool. Literally, it's very cold here. I'm on Elu. Well, Bob is. Well done, Bob. You're a national hero. Wrong button. Put the jetpack away. Ooh, how well do I jump? Pretty well. Elu's good for jumping. The sounds are epic. I assume you walk through the rocks like everywhere else. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, roll up, roll up for the greatest show you have ever seen. Bob Copperfield will now walk through the Great Wall of Rock. Ta-da! Yeah, Bob, you showed them. Maybe Claudia Schiffer will want to date you now. Okay, everybody, this is... Under the circumstances, the best outcome I could have asked for. So I'm really happy. We made it to the surface of Elu. Almost ended up in the underworld. Fought the Kraken along the way. The time warp Kraken was strangely absent. I'm thankful for that. But mission is accomplished. Bob and I are delighted. Thank you for joining me on this journey to Elu. I hope you enjoyed it as much as Bob and I did. I hope to see you again soon. I have got some interesting videos in the pipeline, so stay tuned to this channel. From just above the surface of Elu, from Bob and myself, OG out. Bob would like to share this precautionary message with everybody. Avoid Blackrock. Blackrock is bad. Don't have anything to do with Blackrock. Bad Blackrock. Bad. This message was not brought to you by Blackrock.